The Toyota franchise was one of the pioneer teams at the PBA back in 1975. They entered the league after a couple of years of playing in the Mika and initially known as the Toyota Comets. They were the first ever champions of the PBA. They won the first and second conferences back in 1975 behind the leadership of Sonny Jaworski, Ramon Fernandez, and Francis Arnaiz. Toyota was one of the PBA's first dominant teams. And before entering the PBA, the team was actually known as the Komatsu Comets back in the Mika. When they joined the association, they changed it to the Toyota Comets. In its nine years in the PBA, the franchise went by seven different names, carrying different car models of the Japanese manufacturer Toyota. The team name that they went with the longest was the Toyota Tamaraus, which they used from 1977 to 1980. That was also the team name that they had the most success with. Toyota had nine championships in its nine-year stint in the PBA. They won four of those, being known as the Toyota Tamaraus. They were definitely a force when they were still playing in the league. They were a perennial contender. They reached the PBA Finals 18 times in only nine years. That includes making it to the big stage in the first six tournaments of the league. They won the first two titles but lost in the finals to CRISPA the next four times. And speaking of that rivalry with CRISPA, in the early years of the PBA, it was really only CRISPA or Toyota who would win the championship. And those are the deep roots of the rivalry between these two teams. It was ve the very first rivalry of the league. And many say that it is what kept the PBA going through its younger years. In one of the first matchups of these two teams in the PBA, they already figured in a brawl when Toyota's Oscar Rocha punched CRISPA's Bernie Fabiosa in the dying moments of the game. In 1977, another post-game incident between these two teams got so bad that the players were actually detained in the military headquarters in Fort Bonifacio. There were a lot of nice and not-so-nice memories in the rivalry between these two teams. But one thing's for sure, and that is that they helped shape the league that we have today. But definitely a fiery rivalry. Now, if you look at the names of some of the legends that wore the Toyota jersey, it's easy to understand why they experienced so much success. They had four guys who eventually landed in the 25 greatest players of the PBA. Francis Anais, Ramon Fernandez, Daniel Florencio, and Sonny Jaworski. They also had key guys in the likes of Ar Arnie Duales, Duales and Chito Loizaga. And of course, they also had remarkable head coaches in Dante Silverio, Fort Acuna, and Edgardo Ocampo. You know, Toyota was in the league for just nine years, mm -hmm. but they will still be remembered as one of the grandest franchises in the PBA.